Hey, what's going on? It's yours truly, DJ Bebop Brown, back at you with another episode of The Baptism, my spiritual testimony about what I'm seeing on my journey walking with the Most High. And check it out, y'all. Oh, I know you hear that sound, right? When I was growing up, that was one of the most relaxing sounds, was rain on a tin roof. Well, I'm out here at this nice, relaxing park that I like to come out to sometime and just kind of chill out. And while I was out here, you know, one of these summer showers kind of crept up on, and um, it's very relaxing, it's very peaceful, so I know it's going to sound kind of loud, excuse the, the the sound of the rain, but I just wanted to come through and talk to you about how do you decipher confirmations from God? Uh, personal testimony, a lot of times when we pray, in, well, a lot of times when I pray, I pray out loud, and until recently, I didn't understand that praying out loud gave Satan sometimes an advantage to hear what I was asking God for. And my whole dealings with Satan right now was totally different. It has truly turned into a chess match. Um, he has become a little bit more conniving. He has become more shysty in the way he patterns himself in our fight he works more now on my mind and what he does is he tries to imitate things that I think is from God and I prayed on something very heavy this was uh, the end of December coming into January and it seems like everything that I was praying for I was getting an answer for well, at least I thought I was. And it was kind of shocking at first because how quickly it came. You know, it was almost like the things I was praying for, they was almost coming literally the next day. Literally the next day. And I went to thanking God for it, but one thing I can, I can remember is the voices that I was hearing in my mind was not the voice of God. It was my own voice. And with it being my own voice, which means it came from my mind, which means it was Satan. And the voices were trying to give me confirmation on the prayers that I was, you know, I was asking God for. It was basically telling me that this was this was the this was the blessing that God had gave me the blessing. It was just kind of strange in the beginning because it was how quickly it came. Everything just came so quickly, like literally overnight. I'm not exaggerating. Literally overnight. <laughs> but what, what I thought was a blessing from God actually turned out to be a curse from Satan. It was him deceiving me. It was him listening to what I was asking God for and him trying to go in front of God and give me. Because sometimes what we ask God for, a lot of times, maybe it's not meant for us. And maybe that's why God has not moved yet or maybe have, haven't done yet but we have asked him for because maybe it's not meant for us and one thing about Satan he knows that he knows what's meant for you and what's not meant for you so he'll move on certain things and a lot of times when we're so and I was God knows I was so caught up in the spirit you know I was feeling good I was I was strong in my walk so I really thought it was God who was answering my prayers because these are the things that I asked for and it all came right away. Bam, 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 bam. But slowly, <laughs> as the smoke cleared, I started realizing that these were not blessings from God, man. These were actually curses from Satan. Because everything that had came were things that defiled me. And one thing I know about God, God will never give you something that's going to defile you. He's not a God that's going to give you anything that's going to cause you to sin. He's not going to do anything that's going to cause you to separate yourself from him, from the law. He's never going to do that. That's, th that's not in him. He's never going to defile you. He's not going to lead you into, into the direction of, of, uh, of damnation. He's, that's, that's not the God we serve. It's only one person who does that, and that's Satan. So after going through some trials and tribulations... And I started praying and I started, you know, kind of asking God, you know, you know, not asking him why, but just kind of questioning myself on what am I doing wrong? Because things were going wrong. Things were going horribly wrong. 
um, my energy level was 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 dimming down. My light was dimming down. I couldn't hear God's voice as I could in the beginning of my journey. And I couldn't understand what it was because I was still doing everything the same. But then I started realizing that in this spiritual walk, you have to make sure that at all times you're keeping your eyes on God. I mean, at all times. It's like when Peter stepped foot out in the water. And Jesus told him, man, you will walk as long as you keep your eyes on me. And when Peter took his eyes off the water, that's when that's when he sunk. That's just the way life is when you walk in this spiritual journey with God. As long as you're keeping your eyes on Christ, as long as you focused on the most high, everything will go right. But as soon as you take your mind off of him, as soon as you take your thoughts off, if you allow any distraction, if you allow any sin to enter your life, it separates you from God. And because it separates you, it allows Satan, it allows Satan, it gives him an entry level into your mind now. And then a lot of times he's listening, he's around you because he, he doesn't, first of all, he doesn't want you to receive the blessings from God. Second of all, he don't want you to leave from his side. He wants you to stay a part of his army. He doesn't want you to be a part of God's, God's army. So he's always going to be right there trying to nitpick at you and trying to, you know, figure out ways to get you back and to deceive you. And, and that's what he did with me. He he sat back and he listened to my prayers. And that was my fault because I wasn't knowledgeable about praying out loud. And one thing I, I learned later on about when I started studying, that's why it's so important to study. God revealed to me that his sheep know his voice. And he told me, you should have knew my voice. You should have knew the voice that was inside of your mind and it wasn't mine it was yours and your voice you can't we're never supposed to lean on our own understanding we should all we should always submit ourselves to the will of god and man satan won up me i came out this battle limping and he might have won this battle but i i refused to let him win the war yeah i totally refused to let him win the war and that's just where I have to, that's why right now I'm in my season of isolation right now and I'm re-strengthening my soul, I'm re-strengthening my spirit, I'm re-strengthening my walk, I'm refocusing myself. And and if, if one thing I can share is we have to be so careful about the people we come in contact with, the things that we come in contact with, even the stuff that we watch, um, the stuff that we listen to, the music, um, the stuff on YouTube. A lot of that stuff have spells and spirits that's attached to it. And it can distract your mind. You truly, in these days that we're living in, we have to stay focused on God. And especially when you're looking for a breakthrough in your life, when you're looking for a blessing, when you're praying to God and you're asking Him to deliver you out of certain things, you have to keep your eyes on Him. Because if you take your eyes off, distraction will come so quickly. Deception will come so quickly. And Satan hears your prayers. He sees your walk with the Most High. And he wants to, his main objective is to throw you off by all means. He wants to throw you off. So he'll take sometimes those prayers and you would think it's confirmation from God. But if you're not listening to God, if you're not hearing his voice, if you're distracted and you can't hear him, you won't know that this is not from him. He wants us to be patient. He wants us to sit still and wait for him don't lean on your own understanding and i i truly can admit i made a mistake by leaning on my own understanding getting in front of god and it was going so fast and i'm thinking you know a lot of things a lot of the moves i made i made mistakes and i put myself into a storm thinking that god you know had me in a storm and god told me i didn't i didn't put you in this this is self-inflicted you put yourself in this and he assured me that he's gonna help me get he's gonna help get me out of it, but he's gonna suffer a little bit. Just as you should, just as any parent should with his child who makes a mistake. You have to learn from your mistakes. And I'm learning right now from my mistakes. And I just wanted to share that with you, family, that this spiritual warfare is deep. And Satan has many ways of attacking us. And, and with the chosen, with the believers, he likes to attack us through our mind. He hears your prayers. We have to be careful about praying out loud. That's why you should pray in your mind to God, pray in your heart. Satan, he can't, he doesn't know your heart. He thinks he knows your mind, 
but he doesn't know your heart. He, he can't hear when you speak silently. That's between you and God. And I am learning that. I am learning that, and I'm going to be more careful in my walk about praying out loud. Even when I'm praying with other people, we can touch hands and agree, and we can still pray silently. And I just can't give him no more. No, I, I can't have no more room for error in this walk, man. I'm, I'm so in love with God and I want to do everything that I can to make sure that my walk is upright with him and that means keeping my mind focused that means not being distracted that means keeping my, my, my spirit in line with his word and just following his, 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 his commandments and just, just living righteously being set apart and I just thank God for his grace and his mercy and we all make mistakes. We all fall short. That's a part of this journey. This journey is a it's a lesson. It's a lesson. You're going to, we're going to learn different things. No one is perfect. But I just thank God that that He revealed that to me. That the mistakes that I made, so I can correct them. And like I said, I wanted to share this with you, family, because it may be one of y'all that's going through the same thing. That, that you prayed for something and you thought that that your prayer was answered by God, only to realize that it was answered. It was intercepted by Satan. And it just means that we just have to be patient and just wait on God. We have to wait on God and you know his voice. Keep your eyes on God. So when he does speak, you can hear his voice. You can you have the discernment to understand who's talking to you and who's leading you, who's guiding you. I hope this message reached someone. Um, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate you for watching the video. Um, if you are a subscriber, I appreciate you for being a part of this community. Let's build this community. Make sure you share, 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 share this video. Let's grow this community. I love each and every one of y'all. I hope you have a blessed day. Until the next time, peace.